later wow. uh, on our site, and now it's four and a half years later. We shot 100 bands and 30 comedians. And where are you shooting now? We were at the Bagot Inn. We were at Kenny's Castaways briefly, but that didn't work out too well. Were you at Otto's ever? Uh, no. Somebody was. But we're looking for another venue right now. We're about to do something potentially with an indie label, but I think I'm going to go back to renting theaters. Uh-huh. Now that Tom O'Burn is gone, I just... Where is Tom? Uh, he has two clubs. He has Dempsey's and Slauncher right, over on right, the east side. They're right. great bars. But the bag, it's gone. It's something yeah. else now. And it's like, it was a heartbreak Wasn't it for me. comedy for a while or something? They're gone too. Okay. Because somebody bought the whole thing. It turned into something yeah, like Yeah, I kind of remember that. A what? It's like, you know, rich people go there and pay a $20 cover and look, look oh, pretty. Oh, so really? <laughs> pretty. Yeah. It's, huh. it's not... Um, a lot of things are changing like that. Everything's turning like that. Everything is turning a little corporate down there. Yeah. I mean, there are some good venues. We, we tend to want to get the band. We'll play an hour. And that's it. If you mess up too bad, we're not retaking. It, it, our, 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 our corporate logo is a no-smoking sign with lip-syncing through the middle. I should have brought you a T-shirt. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but uh, it, no lip-syncing. It's, it's, we've shot everything. We shot Antonio Carlos Jobim's backing band, the Portino Trio. We shot the West Point Jazz Band. So what did you think of the Grammys? I don't watch the Grammys. Right. I'm a member of NARIS, but I don't watch the Grammys. I, I just feel like it's getting to be... Is there a reason? I mean, um, this year, I, I don't always watch it, but this year I actually watch... Truth, I have no ill will toward anybody who has that kind of career. I think if you have that kind of career and, and it worked for you... and I, I God bless you. Get as much money as you can exactly. while the game's good. But I just feel like lately it's all... It's hoopla. It's, it's all just, the award shows, it's a bunch of insiders slapping each other on the back. It is. You I know. agree. Which is right. It is blah, blah, blah. But they only gave out like four awards on television. That was the yeah. funny part. It was like one award every half hour. It was only about How like... Do do that? I don't know. What's the point of that? It's like not... An, it's it's just a BS. I'll tell you, like I you feel just sorry for Taylor Swift to some degree because... Yeah. Well, she's the love-hate girl. Well, because they're going to put her up now. They're going to make her the biggest thing since sliced And where bread. can she go from and there? And as soon as they get a chance, they're going to attack her. Well, they already are. They already have, Yeah. Yeah. I still don't understand why she got it. But I know nobody's. I, 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 I know. I, I know. My opinion on yeah. that. I know certain I know. things that I will not reveal. On She's, radio, there is some reason why she is. And the thing that I find to be the most amazing, the thing that I, I um, find remarkable in this day and age, is that she was not an American Idol. Because it seems like only American Idols are rising to the top, and she broke through well, without American the Idol. Thing about That's American the thing I like Idol about that it. people don't acknowledge is that. American Idol, the medium is the message. The reason people, Carrie Underwood or any of these people... And they're all huge stars they're now, huge the American stars Idols. Because it's people's ego are involved in voting. Yeah. And if you get the audience's ego involved, you'll never fail to have an audience. Right. You know? uh, yeah, well, it's, it's working. It's really, it's so bizarre how the music industry is turning Look into Susan, that. Look uh, Susan so Taylor Boyle. Dane, she, Taylor Dane, Taylor Swift, she looks to me like she could be an American Idol, but I wonder if she would have won on American Idol. Oh, she didn't have not. to. She's See, that's my, that's my little There's question. A, without revealing anything that I shouldn't reveal, there was a fair amount of engineering that went into her career. Well, obviously, because you can hear her sing live with Stevie Nicks, I that poor that little girl. Oh, my God. Just to say it takes money to make money. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's a little robot for now. I don't want to attack Taylor Swift. You know, she's she's she's, she's, she's young. She's figured out how to sell tickets, which is something. Well, that a lot they of the, did the machine. No, I, I guess she was her, her her machine her her individual her father and the people that okay. manage her career they know what they're doing. I okay, mean, you know, I, I you can't argue success. No, I, I just look at it like there's a difference between the industry and music. The music industry is not about music anymore. So exactly. It's not. It's you know, not. You got to make your own way. Except for arismaradio.com. Sure not the music we industry. well, we are musicians You're that musicians. are industrious and we promote art and we promote creativity and we promote essence of what I feel music is, which you know, today February 3rd is the day that Jimi Hendrix recorded Purple Haze. Wow. God you know, so that to me. And you know that. And I know that. And, and, industry don't. and you know what else? <laughs> yeah. And and we went over this already. And today is the day Richie Valens and Buddy Holly's plane crash. Is February 3rd. Yeah, it Did all happened on this ice? day. So, um, um, yeah, February 3rd. I always like to know what happens on the date of this show. Wow, and that's cool. Those are huge things that those are essence of music industry. So, I mean... Regardless of anything, I always call myself I'm a, I'm an optimist or I live in delusion. I don't really know the difference and I still always do believe that we will prevail and we will do everything 
the way it's going to be. You know, I mean, right. we started Digital Cafe Tour because... So what is it? I mean, what exactly is it? Digital Cafe Tour is, is one part live concert series, one part how to do what we do. We have a series called Broaden Your Band. We did actual series for Audix. Like how do you help a band? Like me as an artist, what would I, why would I want to be on Digital Cafe? We shoot with eight cameras, 48 channels of audio. We'll do you charge people for this? Absolutely not. So how it's do you do this? And corporate sponsorship. And and so would you shoot us anywhere, anytime? Like, how does it work? We usually do a series. It's usually in the summer. Okay. Uh, and it, it, just for a variety of reasons, you can get more dark time. Um, we've, like, a couple hundred hours of content we've acquired right now. And then what do you do? You blast it? We virally it. market it. We give it to the bands to put out. We're a premium channel on YouTube. We just signed a deal with CBS Interactive to be a, a featured show place on uh-huh. TV.com. Okay. We're on Verizon Fios Video On Demand. Nice. We're oh, on, you are. We're on, awesome. we're so on how do Fox we... Mobile. We just uh-huh. did Blinks, which is Lycos. It's another 78 million eyes a month. Cool. Um, the whole idea is that we take the promise that the band has that night, best they've got, and we create media that would normally cost a million dollars. Nice. In pre-production. Right. Before, uh, I mean, we. So it's yeah. a live show broadcast. The other secret to our widget, and it's done well for Friday's Child. I'm getting a lot of downloads and good uh, for you. And a lot of a lot of eyes on my stuff, but we shoot with the number of the band. You know, say the six people, we'll shoot with eight cameras. Uh huh. We are not interested in the swooping crane shot. And if you have a drummer, people are going to see your drummer. Right. It's not going to be like when they shoot, say, Pearl Jam at, you know, the, the Who tribute, and all you see is, is Eddie Vedder. Right. And you don't realize that there's Stone Gods. Did you know there. Woozy Fly at all? No. Because they were like this online thing that would have bands come into a studio and shoot with, and they'd put it up. There's a lot of that. That's not what we do. The secret to our widget is that if you put it on a BlackBerry, you put it on an iPod, you put it on that computer screen or on yeah. a flat screen, the audio and video, there is no loss of quality. Okay. We invented a way to do that. The second thing is we will get so close to the musicians that you will really experience it like you were sitting in a small club with them, i.e., there are a couple of major bands that we've been talking to about shooting. I'm not going to name names because right. we're under NDA, but they're big people that you know. Nice. And we won't want to shoot them at the Enormo Dome. We want to shoot them at the club that they started at. Oh, cool. ah, Up nice. close and personal, maximum of 150 to 200 seats uh, to give people a small club experience and it's working. I mean, it, a lot of people don't have the a the balls to get on camera to do that. Really? Oh, people are. Are you kidding? Oh, you should. We, in the, this industry, we ran a thing called live. We have a thing called Live 2.0. It's our community. So let's just if you go on our, we, we're a premium YouTube channel, which means we have certain rights that most people that sign a YouTube channel don't have. We right. can we get advertising dollar from it. We um, can take embeddable widgets and put them places, and we also can create communities. We have cool. this thing called Live 2.0 that we did, which was. Like a rarefied South by Southwest. We put it out. We, we were partnered with Snowcap, the people that had the... Yeah, um, I don't know yeah. how to get that off of my MySpace. It's like... It's going to come off on its own because they were bought by a social network. I have... I the, you know, Snowcap kind of like evaded MySpace and made everyone sign up on it. And They're like. Gone. Yeah, but I it's I never know how to get it off my page. It's like it's like it this per off my page on its own. Oh really? Yeah, so yeah. maybe it's off my page. I mean, bought <laughs> them and I haven't seen I mean anywhere. They I've were, seen they're... that snow cap thing. I and it's not even in your pro, like it's not even able to be taken off. Like I they've got issues. Uh, they, they, obviously, they were bought by a a, a, a social network in. 2008. Uh, we were working with them in 2007. We launched this thing, and only four bands would win. As opposed, and I hate saying contests. It's not I a contest. Know. It was a virtual festival. We had judges, and you know, about 15, <laughs> 1,600 bands. Like who? Up. Simon? <laughs> no, people in the music. People who work for the instrument companies. Right. You know, the people who cared about music, and uh, you know, the four would win, and we would pay $1,200 of their expense to get to the city because wow. when I played South by Southwest, I played Atlantis, I played you all these festivals. You had to pay to get there. My hotel bill was insane yeah. to get to Atlantis. You know, Atlantis. It was a and fun trip. I, but, I got a yeah. hotel bill. Yeah. Um, we wanted them to walk out with a video and a minimum amount of expenses. And we did it. And 90% of them were pretty grateful. But some of them, mm. <laughs> you know, some of the bands that won were not only not grateful, they weren't nice. And then when they, wow. saw, when they saw the... Um, uh, and I'm not naming names, but when we saw the resulting footage, mm-hmm. you know, we're not going to go in and have you re-sing it. It is what it is, mm-hmm. you know. And they would come back with, oh, take that down. And then they would put up a video that they did with somebody's handheld prosumer camera 